like, oh, let's get this show on the road. I'm just gonna sit like a normal person. <sighs> Okay, I haven't done a video in a year. This is why I'm doing this. Did you get that? Alright, anyways. It's 2021, bitches. Alright, I can't cuss. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is 2021. This is my first video filmed in 2021. So basically, I did upload three videos already for 2021. But those were all filmed in 2020. So basically this video is going to be a little different from my normal videos. This is going to be kind of just like a little, um, like a little chit chat. There's a lot of interesting stuff going to be talked about in this video. This video is going to be like a little, like what's going on for Tori in 2021. Oh, before I get started. Okay, so you guys know how I sell clothes on my clothes account. If you know me, it's always in the description. My two accounts, all in the description. If you want to go check it out, basically thrifted clothes, second apparel, good for the environment. So basically I'm gonna start doing this new thing in these videos where I'm gonna wear the stuff that I'm selling or something I haven't sold yet. And hopefully by the time this video comes up, I haven't sold this because I just posted it on my Snapchat story, which I'll be selling clothes in there too. Cause I'm trying to get rid of clothes so I can get new inventory for both my accounts, which I'll be talking about in this video. I'm selling this hoodie and it says King's Basketball, which is a school by me. And like, I know that sounds interesting. If you don't live in Cincinnati, you probably don't care. And if you need to go to this school, you probably don't care. I mean, it's in really good condition. So if you just like basketball, it says basketball on it. This is the reason I got it. It's champion. I think I sold it from anywhere from like 15 to 20 dollars or something but if you like dm me on instagram and say hey i saw your video and i want that sweatshirt i'll give it to you for 10. if you want this hoodie dm me it's yours I'm trying to get rid of stuff if not that's cool i have other stuff too if you want if not it's cool so basically i planned out this whole video on my on my notes basically this video is into five parts so the first part is school. And I forgot to mention this is also work. Basically, this video is supposed to be five sections worth of what's going on in 2021 and everything. But I ended up talking about school and work for like way too long. So this video is going to be basically just all about school and the University of Cincinnati and DAP. A lot of people requested more videos about DAP and everything. So this video is going to be all about school and DAP. If you want to learn more about that, stick around. If not, I'm going to be talking about four other things in the next video. Stay tuned. This is just part one. So we're going to start with school. So basically, if you don't know already, I am in the DAP program. I am a communication design major, which is basically graphic design at the University of Cincinnati. If you don't know what the DAP program is, it is the design and architecture art and planning program at the University of Cincinnati. It is, it's like world renowned, 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 whatever. It's world like known, like the college like the school it's ranked like top three in the nation it's hard to get in like if you don't get in like there's no waiting list i'm supposed to be a sophomore but i took a gap year so i am a freshman so i'm a first year but with the that program it is a five-year program but basically i have school co-ops and breaks so basically school normally you go to school you go in class like i haven't gone in class well i have for one class like I took one last spring during my gap year to get ahead, but it wasn't a studio class. So normally with studio, so three hours, and you have like a lecture for a little bit, and then you work on projects that are due. Last semester, I basically had classes for 30 minutes to an hour, and then they would let us like get off the call, and then we would work on our projects. So that's what we were supposed to do. But I would normally go back to sleep on the days at 9 a.m. because I'm like not a morning person. I could really stay awake, and that's basically how that worked um i'm getting off track i've had a lot of requests one person even said they wanted to do more on the communication design major they want me to do videos on that so this is part of that i have other videos planned but anyways so my classes started at 11 15 on mondays and wednesdays and then tuesday thursday i had nine and and then Fridays I had off, which is really nice. I'm like on Fridays and Sundays, and Saturdays I could have off. But just like the 9 a.m.s are too early. Like the 11 15s like are perfect for me because like I love sleeping in. And if I want to, I can get up before I get stuff done. 9 a.m.s, I mean, I shouldn't be complaining. Some people have 8 a.m.s, but 
I just, I can't. So luckily this semester I got all my classes, like my earliest class starts at 10. That's just way better for me. It's all virtual still, but I have classes this week. My first four days of classes and it's just been like a lot harder because like this semester I have one more class. So I'm taking more credit hours. Like last semester they were all three hours long, but they would only go for a half an hour, an hour. But this semester they have been talking like the whole three hours. So I normally have two, three hour classes every day just about um i think i have one hour one hour three hour on two of the days and it's just really hard because it's like it's like school from 11 to 5 which is like just as much as high school which like was not what i was expecting because like college there's supposed to be like a lot more freedom and stuff and it's just hard so that's like what i'm struggling with um my grades they, i'm not gonna lie they weren't the best last semester but my professors talk to me and a C is average. In high school, you think probably like an A or B is average. Like in college, a C is average. So with that in mind, I did okay. I mean, I didn't get any Ds, I didn't get any Fs. But I was very thankful for this girl that helped me. She saw my, one of my YouTube videos and ended up being a freshman in DAP and in my major. So I was just super thankful. <laughs> Shout out to Payne if you're watching this. Um, yeah, Payne's awesome. We're rooming together next year. We're still trying to find two other roommates. But um, I honestly think without her, I probably would have got at least one D if I didn't meet her because she helped me so much. And she didn't live on campus, so we just like WebEx or Zoomed or whatever. My grades last semester were probably the worst they've ever been, but I haven't been in school for... What's the first time I've been in full-time school for like two years? So my best grade was a B plus, and that was basically supposed to be the easiest class. Like our teacher even told us it's the easy A. So when I got a B plus, I was kind of disappointed because I'm pretty sure everyone else got A but I'll take it like it's passing it's above average you gotta think like when you get out of college nobody's gonna be like what's your GPA as long as you graduate you're fine and so basically that was my best grade to be plus and then I don't remember what classes exactly I got all the other grades in but my second best grade is a B minus and then the next grade I got was a C plus and then my worst grade was a C minus and I actually was pretty happy about that C minus because I worked pretty hard to get that C minus and I thought I was gonna get a D but I'm just super thankful that I passed and I didn't get a D because if you get two D's in DAP you're kicked out which I haven't read that much anyway because I was like oh there's no way I'm gonna get a D I'll have to worry about it but like I know for sure if you get two D's in one semester you definitely get kicked out but I don't know if it's like if I get a D like this semester and then get a D next semester I get kicked out so I'm just thankful I didn't get any D's so like I don't have to worry about like one strike to two strikes type of thing but yeah that's basically how school went for semester my goal for this semester is to get all B's and um at least one A and then I'll let myself get one C that's my goal I'm taking five classes so Hopefully A, a C, and three Bs. That's my goal. Hopefully I get that. If I do better, great. If I do worse, uh, pray for me. But I'll be fine. But, and I forgot to mention, since I have like 11 a.m. classes this semester, my goal is to work out before classes. By the end of the semester, I'll be working out like every day because that'd be so awesome. And I'll be in like great shape and everything. But that's not going to happen right away. So my goal at first is just like one day a week and then but up to four days a week and then have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. That's a goal of mine this year. I put like school and work together because like, you know, I'm either doing school or working. That's like my main priority. So for work right now, I don't have like a job that I go to like a part-time job. What I have been doing is like, I have been door dashing and I mean, it's pretty good money. Like I make at least double what I make when I lifeguard in the summer. In the summer, I'm obviously gonna get a job but I'm leaning towards not lifeguarding again. Um, there's nothing wrong at all with lifeguarding, especially at the place I lifeguarded. Like I loved lifeguarding, like my coworkers, they were all super cool. My manager and my assistant manager and everything, they were super nice and flexible with my schedule. I barely worked on the weekends. And even having a job, you normally work at least one weekend. So that was like really nice. And the two things that I'm like leaning towards right now, it's like Amazon or Dunkin' Donuts. And I'm more leaning towards Amazon because like, I know like a few people who work there and everyone who works there says it's like, well, it's like pretty good pay. And second of all, you get like, you get a lot of exercise while you're there, which I think that'd be good. Like most people who go there, they walk like minimum five miles a shift. 
sometimes like up to 10 i'd say and like that would be like really good for me like i'd get paid decent and i'd get exercise like that i think would be a good job for me and the reason i was saying duncan is because i don't even know why i said duncan i just i don't know like i don't like at mcdonald's or wendy's but i feel like duncan would be fine because i don't really eat that food and I work at a restaurant, it would probably be like, I would want to work somewhere where I don't eat the food because if I do work somewhere that I like the food, I feel like by the time I stop working there, I won't like the food. So I think those are my two options for now and it's probably what I'm gonna do this summer, but we'll see. Honestly, I was looking at my bank account and I am a big saver. I don't spend much money at all. And I have enough money where I don't, I don't necessarily need to get a job, but I'm going to be hopping next spring, which means I'm going to have like a nine to five type of job and I'm going to have to pay for living expenses, which should be paid for like through my co-op because I'm going to get to pay like internship kind of thing. And it's kind of like a preview. What I'm supposed to do when I graduate, which will be 2025, if it's a accept plan, I have some other stuff I want to do. And I might have to take some time off of school, but I'm not going to announce that until it happens because, you know. So this is the end of part one. The next video will have the next four sections or whatever, which is my photography, YouTube, my clothes, and future plans. I didn't make an outro because I thought that this was going to be one video, but it ended up being too long. If you want to watch part two, go to the next video. Um, This video is more just like about like what I'm working and like dab and everything. So if you watch this point, thank you so much for watching. Definitely you should subscribe. I will be doing more videos on dab and everything because I was like highly requested. And if you have any like video requests, just make sure to leave them below. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.